Good morning, folks. Today we're going to look at an atmospheric study that half the world won't want to hear. There's a new space weather monitor in play now, and we've got those tropical systems on the other side of the world. Of course, we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. The central plasma filament briefly destabilized, looked like it was about to erupt, but he did get himself under control in the end. While the solar flaring remains low, along with solar wind and geomagnetic conditions, we've got our eyes firmly locked in on the sunspots. All of them are now confined to the incoming southern quadrant, bottom left quarter as we look at it, and more specifically, it's these new ones just cresting into view now. They are big and appear close enough together to have interaction potential among their umbral fields, watching this region closely for flares and CMEs today. Up next, folks we have a new coronagraph. Soho has been up since the 90s and is glitchy AF to say the least, but this new one is on GOES-19. It's been in experimental mode while they get it ready, but it's already captured a CME and appears a worthy replacement for the last GO views. Not sure when it will officially take over as the main coronagraph, but it's safe to say it is coming soon. Folks, those two storm systems are strong over in the east. Philippines getting battered now while Cyclone Dana churns in the Bay of Bengal. The Philippine storm is heading west towards Vietnam this week while the other is going to slide north towards Bangladesh. Prayers are with them. Lastly on the science front, the Oak Ridge National Lab has come out and said that plants are actually eating up much more carbon than everyone had originally believed. This has clear directives for climate related policy. First, it means that planting forests is by far the best idea for a global warming worrier, much better than say spraying poison in the sky. But also it means that the carbon we do emit will go more into the growth of plants than cause some kind of climate chaos. Might want to look for something else that has been causing these changes in our atmosphere over the last century, eh? As always, folks, lots going on at the ranch. I will be out there today. Nothing beats meeting you all in person. Hope you can come out and see us soon. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.